Hello Cancer, welcome to your He Said She Said reading. This is for the time period November 11th through 25th, 2018. We're here to deliver your channeled messages for this time period. These readings differ from my solo readings because uh, I do these with, uh, with Richard. So say hello Richard. Hello Cancer. And uh, he's here to give the male perspective on the He Said She Said. You can uh, feel free to enjoy both uh, styles of readings, the ones that I do by myself and the ones that I do with Richard. You can enjoy both uh, or one or the other, it's really up to you. We also offer our, uh, uh, your own personal He Said, She Said reading. The cost is $35 for a 20 minute reading with both Richard and I. So if you're interested you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Okay Cancer, let's get started. For your oracle cards you have Miss Sunshine from the Mystical Moments. So Miss Sunshine speaks to sun, light, energy, courage and clarity. A woman rises high into the sky. Her hair shines bright like the sun. Her skirt looks like a huge building. She comes from a darker place. Beneath her lies gloom, uh, sorry, beneath her lies gloom and shadows. But her light is glowing. She is like the energy of life and son of the universe. She focuses her intentions on the positive and is able to gain clarity. She leaves the night and fears behind. And from the Shadows and Light Oracle, you've pulled Faceless Ghosts and the Haunted Girl. This is an interesting one because it, it's about others that, that may be assisting you. The energy around this is that you may seem in need of help to people who actually have an agenda at the moment. You may have people around you that are acting like experts, but it's really an energy here of wanting, I feel like they want you to join them in something, supposedly for your own good, but it's despite your misgivings. It's kind of like recruitment, isn't it? It's a little like recruitment. Like they're trying to recruit you for some sort of cause. Yeah, but, but underneath it all that there's some kind of hidden agenda. Uh, they may s seem to feel like they need to take advantage of what they see as a moment of weakness. Hmm. So let's see where this goes. Something to watch out for here, but but I feel with Miss Sunshine, I think that there's an energy here of seeing this. Oh, no, there's clarity. There's clarity. Yeah. So let's get the uh, let's get the energy. I've already meditated on your energy, Cancer. So let's focus in on the energy of the person that you are thinking of, what they bring to the table when it comes to you, Cancer, their flaw how they are viewing you, how you are viewing them, the strengths of your relationship, the weaknesses of your relationship, the potential for a healthy relationship crossed by any roadblock <coughs> and the outcome. Okay, let's take a look. Their current energy is the death card. All right, well, that's, uh, that's good. That's the, that means it's transformation, usually for the better. So let's see what they're bringing to the table when it comes to you. The Nine of Wands in reverse. It, it seems like they're, uh, they're possibly giving up a fight of some description, a long fight, and, in the, and, and, and changing at the same time here. Giving up something that has stopped them from changing, perhaps. You know what I'm picking up? is that I feel there's an energy around this person as wanting you to change. Oh, okay. I feel that they are wanting you to let go of something. Okay. There is something, Cancer, that you have been hanging into, hanging in. It may have been some struggles that you've been going through, any kind of uh, uh, adversity, but I, s I feel like around you, you've been dealing with it, and, you've, and you, I think for the most part, you've been, you've been, you, you're still standing with it because I feel an energy around you of, of you coping. It's been difficult, but you've been coping. But as their energy, I think that they are wanting you to undergo some kind of ending so that you can have 
an end to a particular cycle, maybe a cycle of adversity. Because what they're bringing to the table seems to be about giving up the fight. I think that they want you to give up the struggle, give up the fight. In order to undergo this transformation. Yes. All right. Yeah. Let's have a look at the, uh, the weakness. The Knight of Wands in reverse. So this person may be a bit flaky. Yeah, flighty. Flighty. They, they, they're very... Someone who you can't really rely upon. No, there's a very in and out kind of energy. You know, when, often when we see that card, yeah. we, think of a, we think of a player. Uh, yeah. But I don't, I'm not really getting that energy from this card here. I'm getting more flakiness. It's flakiness. It, it's someone who may have good intentions. But it doesn't really last because I feel like their attention kind of goes from thing to thing, thing to, to thing, thing to thing, thing to thing. And you might be a project or someone that they feel they need to help right now. But then, and they're all about giving lip service, yeah, to um, to to wanting to help you and to and to wanting to make you feel like really they're your only concern right now. <laughs> But in essence, you're not. They're, uh, they're all over the they're place. They're all over the place, and, and, and in good intentions, possibly, but uh, they're not. They're not really committed to to what they're doing. Yeah. Let's see how they're viewing you here, Cancer. Yeah, they with the Eight of Cups, they, they feel like you need to walk away from something, uh, leave something behind, make some kind of important change in your life. That's right, some sort of transformation. A transformation, an ending. I feel like they, they, they're guiding you through some kind of ending. And for some of you, it is about something that's already ended. But for the most of, most of you, it seems to be about something that you've been working on. Right, and they're saying, give it up. But they're saying, give it up. Give it up. Give up the fight. Leave, is what they're saying. That's what they're thinking. Yeah. Let's look at the um, how the how you're viewing them, Cancer. The chariot in reverse. You know I, that's, that's so appropriate. Yeah. yeah. The uh, the chariot in reverse. If you if you look closely at the chariot card, yeah. you've got this this black sphinx and this white sphinx, and that's uh, really good and evil. It, it can be equated to you know, your conscience in a way, but uh, really in this instance, I think it's. I think it's a card of moral ambiguity. Mm. It is the way is the way I'm I'm approaching this. A card of somebody who who doesn't really know what's good or bad, and doesn't really know what's right in a situation, and and it really sort of goes with the flakiness of this Knight of Wands in reverse. You know what I'm also picking up with this is is that you're viewing them as someone who doesn't hold the reins. I think that they want to hold the reins when it comes to your life. They may even think that they're in control. But they're not. But they're not. I don't feel that they are. Hmm. Let's look at the strength. The King of Swords. So with this one, it is about authority. This person may have a position of authority or feel that they have a position of authority. Well, they also feel that they have the power to convince you to cut things out of your life yes that don't serve you anymore yeah yeah you know, that's what i'm getting from the nut from the yeah sorry, you're, King you're, of you're right it, it, it is a power card mm. someone who thinks that again i get this control thing mm -hmm. but in, in the end they don't, they don't really have the control that they think they do no only that only you have the power to decide for yourself whether or not you're going to give up something. They seem to be pushing you or directing you in a way. Yeah, and that's just, that's what the King of Swords does. They, mm. they, they cut out the things in their lives that, yeah. uh, that don't serve them. Let's look at the weakness. Temperance in reverse. Well, you know, it's it's just imbalance, just pure imbalance. It's, um, it's not, not really being aware of... Uh, of their overindulgence. Yeah, th this person is a bit extreme. I, I think of their views as extreme. They're, you know, if, if Temperance was in the upright, it would be someone who had gained a certain amount of enlightenment within themselves where they had found an inner balance, inner peace, mm -hmm. zen, that state of being comfortable in one's own skin. You know, I'm getting this, this. This is not that energy. You know, I'm getting a sense of this that this person may even truly believe 
that they have attained that inner peace. Yes. And and they just they simply haven't. They haven't. No. You know, if this is if this is resonating with you and there's somebody in your life who is giving you this kind of advice, advice that you need to leave somebody perhaps, look very closely at them. You may even see that they believe that they have this inner peace, this inner this inner enlightenment. Mm. But they hold a position of authority over you or believe that they do. Yeah, they be, think they're more powerful than you. Yes, be very, very careful. Look very closely at yeah. what they're offering you here and what and what you need to what you need to be aware of. Because I think this person is can be a bit extreme when it comes to their viewpoints and they're, but they're they're flaky and, the thing and is, they're flaky as yeah. well yeah it's self-delusion it, there's nothing more yes. dangerous than yes. that believing that you're enlightened when you're not yeah is is incredibly that uh, is dangerous. Incredibly dangerous it can really mess up people's lives hmm. mm, let's look at the potential the queen of pentacles in the reverse the roadblock is the star it's interesting isn't it yeah with this one you know the, the thing is I think the, I immediately pick up this as this person may be giving you some kind of I think that they're believing that they're giving you some kind of healing that they're healing you from an, an unhappy situation that's right that, yeah situation where you're not embody yeah. the queen of pentacles characteristics and traits mm. you know the queen of pentacles is somebody who is a is a good homemaker a good uh, a stable a stable uh, caregiver etc and yeah michelle's exactly right that the roadblock is the mm. is the thought that they're healing you from that situation and they may be even viewing you as insecure yes Yes, because that's, yes, that, that's right. And that may be why, for some of you, they're viewing you as perhaps staying in a situation because they view you as, as having insecurities. And the roadblock here is the star, so it seems like they are very much an energy here of wanting to you to heal like i, I get the energy that they're, they're probably feeling like they're coming from a good place they have good intentions but i don't think that they see but I, don't, I don't think they see the bigger picture they don't see the bigger picture and and, and while they think they have clarity they don't yeah uh, but i bet i still get this energy of self-delusion yeah let's look at the outcome the nine of pentacles in reverse well that's that's you right yeah. that's, that's you if you take this person's you, advice. advice you know if you yeah. take this person's advice to give up the fight mm. to give up what you're what you're fighting for um i i think the advice here is take everything this person says with a grain of salt yeah uh, and really really truly examine who they are and what their what their motives are because i have the 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 energy around this of, of someone who may be pushing someone out of a relationship in order to be more independent but the trouble is it, it, it gets to a place here where you may have all of the things you want in terms of material things like uh, you may be able to provide for yourself in terms of home uh, money all of that I don't feel like you need someone else for that. But it, it's more about being unhappy because... You don't have the things you really truly want. Exactly. And that's what the that's what Knight of Pentacles is about. It's about being dissatisfied with your lot. Dis dissatisfied, that's right. Now, with Faceless Ghosts and the Haunted Girl, I really think that the main message with this is... Someone views you as perhaps weaker than them and they may be coming to you now trying to take advantage of what they see as a moment of weakness. 
but for you with this Miss Sunshine and they may even be viewing themselves here as someone who can make you happy in some way but that's not for all of you I, th I think for the most of you it's really about you uh, achieving clarity over this it's about I think they don't realize that you know who you are and that you don't need helping very much an energy of that you see clearly what they do not now the thing is the energy around this person is someone who's trying to help but but unfortunately I, I get the essence that that you're actually stronger than they ever will be you know that you're more enlightened than they are yeah it, 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 it's, true, I'm even, truth, I'm even reading out of the book here it says I may not be at my strongest at this time but I am stronger than they ever will be <laughs> wow you know there's nothing this, this, could, this energy could not be clearer and it's really borne out by the entire reading yeah so be careful about who you trust here because I, I get the, the energy of someone who perhaps is wanting to drive you in a direction here which well one I don't think they're capable I really don't see you as someone who's going to let this for you you already have the reins of your own chariot your own destiny I don't think that you view them as the, the driver here you're the driver of your own chariot and for, for you the thing is if you've got someone around you that, that's giving you uh, the talk here about you should be doing this, you should be doing that, it's really about recognizing your own strength, listening to your own intuition when it comes to hanging in there in a situation that may not be perfect right now, but something that you're working on. Instead of an energy here of someone who just wants you to give up because they view you as perhaps um, a little bit insecure or weak in a situation which has been difficult yeah you got to remember they don't see the entire picture that's right and you you have to really look out for people whom you believe are deluded with being enlightened yeah or say they're enlightened when perhaps they're not yeah because I, I get this person may have some extremes when it comes to how they're viewing this situation or how they're viewing uh, relationships in general or how they're viewing themselves or themselves yeah yeah okay cancer so we'll leave it there and wish you all the very best don't forget if you'd like your own personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com cost is 35 dollars for a 20 minute reading with both richard and i if you're interested in uh, purchasing any of the oracle or tarot decks that you see me use here on my channel I have a clickable link in the descriptions box which will take you directly to my Amazon store where you can purchase these items. While you're there you can check out my new blog. It's a little lonely in the blog so please come check me out on the WordPress blog and, and uh, we could talk all things tarot and uh, Richard would like to see you there as well. I'm also doing 2019 year ahead forecasts. The generals will be out in a few days here on YouTube so look out for those. And I'm doing personal ones too, so if you're interested in the special that I'm running on your own 2019 month-by-month -month forecast, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com for one of those as well. So wishing you all the best with this, Cancer. And thank you, Cancer. Goodbye and good luck.